Okay guys, tonight I am putting the Gate Titan into a Gel Blaster. Why? Because... Reasons. Someone wants it. That's why. Alright, let's open up the box here on this thing. Uh, we've got... Some cables. A little, uh... Some sort of little USB adapter okay so that's a USB adapter for the uh, MOSFET a little installation kit here just got uh, Dean's connectors and some white reflective paper stickers some washers and mounting hardware and some more washers and mounting hardware ah right okay M2 and M2.5 so I guess that depends on what gearbox you're putting it into as to what size screw you're going to need and of course we have the MOSFET itself Uh, there's some various different USB leads. We've got micro USB, USB C, and another lead under here, which is just a normal USB or micro USB. All right, let's get going on this thing. Oh, and there's some instructions. Probably going to be handy. Alright. So, there's two halves of the circuit board. This is the bottom half, and this is the top half. And I guess the question you're probably asking is, what is this going into? And of course it is going into this V2 gearbox because it is a V2 version of the gate MOSFET. Imagine if you had anything else, it probably wouldn't work. So, the way I understand this is that it fits in here and it replaces your trigger mechanism. So instead of having a trigger mechanism, you have the MOSFET board. And there's sensors in built into this board which detect where your trigger is. Um, yeah, that's pretty much the, the, the gist of it. Uh, so instead of having a, a mechanical switch which actually pushes some pieces of metal together, you have a uh, logical switch which uses FETs to power on your motor when it decides the time is right. Alright, so first up, I need to tap a thread into this. Yeah, this hole, because there's no thread in that hole, so I need to tap a thread in there so that I can actually attach the um, MOSFET board. Alright, so 
use this M2 screw fits in. Beautiful. Get this circuit board back in here. Make sure the hole lines up. That looks a lot better, doesn't it? Now you need to put a carbon washer before you put the metal shim and uh, in this case I didn't actually didn't actually need to use the the metal shim because just the carbon washer was enough and that screw doesn't poke out at all Next I'm just going to run the wires down into these little channels Now, um, because this now no longer fits together, we have to take off these pins with a Dremel. And now it should all fit nice and flush. Beautiful. Now if you guys are familiar with my regular programming, you probably would have seen me put the APS uh, gearbox into the wells recently. And um, one of the problems that I had with that was the uh, slots inside here for the tappet plate are too long for gel blaster purposes and I had to dremel them out. So uh, I've come to the conclusion that I am also going to have to do the same with this gearbox, um, which means I'll have to take out the uh, Titan FET and everything else so that they don't get full of uh, shavings from the metal gearbox when I grind it. Uh, and I'm probably going to call it call it a day for the for the videos so far. Um, I guess you'll have to subscribe and. Catch me in part two. Peace.